Hey guys, just wanted to shoot a quick little video, Project Turbo LS, uh, B&M Pro Ratchet Shifter, which we have installed here. Uh, some people are confused by the way this thing works because there's actually two detents to get from uh, reverse to park. Instead of just going from reverse to park, you have to actually have to hit it twice. And that's what confuses a lot of people. So when I set this up, it's set up with a 4L85E transmission underneath here. You basically have to set it up so that you basically put the selector and transmission in every single gear, first, second, third, drive, neutral, reverse, park, and then make sure that the uh, the shifter pin that goes into the selector slides in and out freely. That means there's no binding and you're in a proper position. Because if you're if you're out of out of uh, synchronization, you're gonna fuck this transmission up. So you want to be in the exact right position with the gates, make, making sure that your transmission detent positions line up with your your proper position of the selector and a transmission because if it's misadjusted you know, you're going to get hydraulic fluid leaking between the circuits not good and you're going to wreck your transmission pretty quick so anyway so this is a b&m pro ratchet shifter with a 4l85e transmission that's a four speed transmission in project turbo ls so i'll just run through how it works here because right now it's in park okay so it's in park right now and uh that is not reverse you actually have to go twice to get into reverse watch that's reverse right there so we can go now from reverse to neutral as you see drive and then you saw when i went into drive this lever pulled back so now it's in uh, ratchet mode so now you've actually got a neutral safety lockout here so i'll show you how that works so we're in drive just leave it in there we can change the gears automatically with our transmission three two one okay and again i verified that the pin is in a proper location in relationship to the gates uh beforehand when i had the thing on the jack or the, the lift was uh, up in the air so anyways, now we're in first, let's say we want to race, you want to shift manually, second, third, drive, and watch this. You can't go into neutral, that locks it out right there. And you saw how this lever moved, so we can't go into neutral. But as soon as I pull this thing back, or push it forward, sorry, that's now neutral. So now you're in neutral, see? That's reverse. Now watch this, this is, this is what confuses people. So we're in reverse, usually with every other shifter, you go from reverse to park it's one detent but with this guy running the 4l85e and 4l80 and i think it's even the 4l60s they're the same way you actually have to go twice to get into park watch there that's not in park yet that's park right there so two two uh two shifts to get into park so we'll do that again so now we're in park that's not reverse that's reverse okay so again that confuses a lot of people with the B&M Pro Ratchet Shifter. Neutral. Drive. As soon as you go into drive, the mechanism changes to reverse out, to lock out your neutral. Three, two, one. Okay, now watch, we'll go up again. Your first gear, starting off in a race, we want to shift manually, let's say. One, two, three, drive. And I hit it by mistake, won't go into neutral until I hit this thing. There you go, now it's in neutral. That's reverse, but it takes again two detents to go into park. One, two, and that's it. So that's how it works. All right, guys. Uh, anyways, uh, that was the quick rundown of the B&M Pro Ratchet Shifter. I still have to uh, put the videos up where I've installed the transmission and the engine. But anyways, just uh, in the meantime, Tur Project Turbo LS shifters in. Got our Terminator X Max mounted. Uh, we can we can have easy access to our pinouts. And we're just going to go through the floor with the harness, so it should be pretty good. And we can see all the LEDs here when you're sitting in a driver's seat. I'm sitting in a passenger seat right now, shooting a video. Just installed my stereo with this plate. I had water jet cut. I had this thing lying around. Don't really care about, you know, I can at least listen to some music uh, in this in this car. So that's good. And those are free, so uh, a little bit budget-minded. Anyways, guys, uh, I'm just going to run this video as is. No editing, no nothing. You don't have to see my face, whatever. Who cares? <laughs> Anyways, guys, uh, again, thanks for watching and uh, hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you.